So, yeah. Gary, are you going to kick this off? I'm going to kick it off, and it's 9 okay. o'clock straight up, and I have a training going on in the other room, so why don't we just get to work, right? Garen, and double Garen again. I know Blake Deal's in the background somewhere. Gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for giving us the opportunity to present this today. Thank you. Uh, Neil, looking forward to, is Neil going to be presenting as well? So I'm looking forward to, the, to this presentation. I already just pressed record. So basically everybody, I'm going to uh, send everybody that registered, not even who attended, a, an email with a full package, everything that they can give me um, I, will be in your inbox. So that's the recording of this and that is the slide deck. Let's talk Lutron Raw 3. This is so exciting for me. There he is. Blake and he's always got that angelic glow around him yeah. right you know we we, we yeah. talked about that well, I don't, I I don't see Blake where is he <laughs> I think it's the <laughs> I think it's the move he just became you know closer to uh you know anyways um guys from all of us at snap one and that is volutone that is custom plus that is MRI and of course all that we're completely excited about this presentation today um, you know, uh, across the country, we've got, we're growing, we've got uh, more stores for you to choose from. Uh, this is a national conversation, so let's have it. Um, again, uh, it, one of the best, seriously, one of the best products we've, we've, we've had, the partnership, you know, continues to grow. Uh, thank you so much for all of that. Let's talk about uh, where the dealers go from here. I want that to be really clear because um, there's qualification involved and uh, we're, we're excited. I want to line up everybody properly and, um, and let's get exposed to this product. All right, guys, that's enough of my spiel. I'm going to get to work here, guys. I'm going to hand it over to who is going to go first. I think maybe Blake might go first. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my best friends, one of the most key, stellar, monumental figures in this entire industry, Mr. Blake Deal. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, oh, thank you. Know, you. There, you know, woo, I mean, I want to hear it. Let's go. So, you got, you know, this is uh, live in Las Vegas. And it's, it, you know, hey, like I said, monumental. And I do have a halo. I don't know where <laughs> that's coming from. I'm living the, the, the good blessed life. So I'm going to make this really quick. I asked Garen, one of our young guys. I think those of you out of Chicago already know Garen Halley. He's one of our young upcoming stars. He took the lead working with with uh, Gary to get this thing organized. But what I really want to do is get right, Brett Thomas and Neil Orkowski engaged here. Neil is the, the product manager for all things Radio Raw. I've worked with him very closely over the last many, many years that he's been here. And Brett Thomas and I have worked together. Brett managed the, the North, well, really the Eastern U.S. Forest Residential. And, and a few months ago, we really moved into more of a business development role to work with Neil to... I'll say it this way, to make sure that as we launch this next generation of Radio Raw products, that it's what you folks are looking for and really enables you to sell more stuff at the end of the day so we can make money. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rhett and Neil, and my job here is done. Thanks for yeah, joining you know, us, guys. Thanks, Blake. So, so this is Rhett Thomas. I'll get it, I'll get it kicked off, and then I'll uh, turn it over to Neil. And just for everyone on this call, I think we'll be... <laughs> You know, pleasantly surprised. We'll have um, you know probably thirty or so minutes of content. Hopefully, we can answer some questions that come in. You know, there's a lot of people on this call, so hopefully, Gary can work with us if we can answer some questions via either chat or come in. You've got a good team here that can help you. Again, I am uh, looking in my current role to develop our raw three business uh, in conjunction with our distributors and all the installers here that are on this call. And then Neil has spent many years at Lutron. Again, he is the product manager uh, for the RAW family of products, which of course includes RAW 3. So today we're going to talk about Radio RAW 3, which we we literally just launched. So go ahead, Neil. Yeah, and thank everybody for joining us today. Um, thanks for the introduction. Um, just quick AV check. Hopefully you can see my, my screen with Lutron Radio RAW 3 here. Yep, we got gotcha. you. Very good. Um, yeah, so I am the product manager for Roth 3. Um, you may have heard from me in, in other webinars, um, working with the, the SNAP team in the past. Um, it's great to be back again and happy to uh, share with you this, this great innovation, which is now a, a, a couple of weeks new. So um, thank you again. So why don't we, why don't we get started? And um, you know, I think, I don't know, Red, if you wanted to kick yeah. off the initial yeah, well, it up. Yep, go ahead, next slide. So, I mean, look, everyone on this call, there's a lot of things here. The home is certainly more important than ever. It's, you know, I think what we're 18 now, 19 months into the pandemic. There's a lot of things. I'm not gonna read all those little statements there, except I will point out it's not home as a have, it's supposed to be home as, as a haven. So if your eyes are drawing to that, 
<laughs> the bottom line is, and I'm sure I can speak for a lot of us on this call, you as installers are busier than ever uh, working with homeowners to improve their homes. Why? Because they're like all of us, we're spending more time inside of our residences. And I don't know about everyone on this call, but I now have picked out every single thing that I don't like about my home and that I want to fix. And I don't think I'm unique in that. So it's a very, very busy time, whether it's people working from home, exercising in home, they want to remodel, they want to do something for their basement. So they have a dedicated office. You pick it. We're as an industry, we are busier than ever. So you're not here for what was in the past, but just a brief history, right? One, one slide, two bullets. Um, Lutron, frankly, you know, back in, now it's almost 97, I got to Lutron in 2000. So I've been here, or 2001, a, a little over 20 years. So we literally came out with the world's first wireless RF-based lighting control system. And it's a core competency of our company uh, of two-way, uh, RF communication and and Radio Raw was the first iteration that very successful and created a lot of wealth for a lot of distributors and a lot of installers out there. So then hit fast forward. We're now into the late 2000s, 2009. A lot of you remembered it. A lot of people, I'm sure a lot, if not most of the people on this call, call have sold Radio Raw too. Wireless, customizable, and really the first system in our industry that brought together lights, shades, and temperature control all, of, all under one roof while still providing that seamless, uh, high quality two-way RF communication has been the hallmark of Lutron Home Systems uh, over the last over 20 years now. So with that. With that, we'll cue a video with it. We'd like to introduce, these are uh, media rich slides, so bear with us. We'd like to introduce Radio Raw 3. Introducing Radio Raw 3 from Lutron. Redesigned from the inside out to delight clients and streamline projects. This new system is easier to program, install, and integrate with other systems. Presenting a contemporary light bar design in a full range of RF connected controls. The soft glow makes it easy to find controls at night. Light bar brightness can be adjusted or turned off. Uh oh. Enjoy superior dimming of all popular load types. Create scenes that transform a room with lights, shades, music, and more. Personalize the keypad with text or icons. Available in a new range of colors to complement any decor. The Lutron app lets clients easily adjust schedules and scenes for added comfort and peace of mind. The new all-in-one processor makes programming and installation a breeze. With power over Ethernet, it's easy to install in a central location for optimal RF coverage. No nearby power receptacle required. Radio RAW 3 is backwards compatible with most Radio RAW 2 devices. The new Lutron Leap API makes integration with other systems as easy as ever. Radio RAW 3 is the most integrated, dedicated lighting control system in its class. With new remote service features, quickly make post-installation system changes on the go via the PC tool or Lutron app. With Radio Raw 3, we set out to combine beautiful controls with a powerful and simple system that will exceed expectations for both you and your clients. And we did it with the same quality and reliability that Lutron has delivered for almost 60 years. It's why Lutron is the number one lighting control and motorized shading brand among home technology professionals. And it's why you can count on Radio Raw 3. Well, so there it is, folks. Uh, Radio Raw 3. Um, hopefully the, 
the video came through nice there. I know over Zoom it sometimes yeah. it can be um, tricky depending on your network. I saw, saw a joke there about um, network quality, but um, <laughs> the um, if, if you'd like to view that video again, um, it's all on radioraw3.lutron.com. Um, right there at the top, you'll be able to see it. So please enjoy. Uh, but here it is. Yeah, so Raw 3, this is the third generation now of our Radio Raw brand. And we're really trying to keep doing it better than ever. You know, so a lot of what you'll hear us talking about is, you know, delighting your clients, streamlining, streamlining your projects. But like, what does that mean? Right? I mean, we've, we've been delighting clients for years. But, you know, I think more so than ever with, with Raw 3, what we resoundingly heard from our customers, from you all, is, you know, help, you know, through Lutron, deliver more tools, more products, more wow that helps get your customers say yes to lighting control, right? So that's really where we started with a, a beautiful new line of wall controls, uh, the Sunata RF controls that you see there with a dimmer, a switch, a keypad, uh, beautifully um, matched, you know, to have a common look on the wall. And so again, help you get your customers say yes. But then of course, you know, with every project, uh, time's incredibly important, right? And we wanted to help you streamline your lighting control projects more so than ever um, to you know, get on the job with a design system, install it faster, and even post, post install service it a lot quicker as well. So you know, help you delight your clients, streamline your projects. And if we can do that all together, we're all gonna win. So let's dive a little bit deeper, right? So what, what, is, what is new with, with RAW3 that really does help you get your clients to say yes? And again, it really starts with this, this beautiful new uh, of line of wall controls. Some of you may have seen the Sunata dimmer aesthetic that we started within our standalone, so non-connected, non-wireless line of dimmers. Um, but now we're bringing that up to you know, a new level now with our Radio RAW3 system uh, with wireless connectivity throughout, and, and not just the dimmer, but a dimmer switch and keypad, like I mentioned, that just you know beautifully matches in the wall. Uh, we went even further and introduced a new line of colors that's available in this aesthetic. Uh, I think you'll see more on this in a little bit, but, but really we listened to like, what are the interior design trends? Um, they're gonna get folks excited about you know matching now their dimmers, switches, and keypads with the colors that are on their wall or in their kitchen, matching their backsplash, et cetera. So it provides a new element of curating that style within any project. But of course, you know, being a raw system, it, it has to be customizable. And so we, we've kept that trend there with you know, these keypads um, being fully customizable with, with text on the buttons, icons, you know, program them with scenes throughout the home to really create that magical experience. And, and do things beyond just lights and shades, but to integrate music and more, which is really what you, um, the dealer community, really helps deliver that, that magic, that wow to that customer. Next, so how are we helping you streamline projects? Well, one, we wanted to make it easier to install, and that's really where the all new Radio Raw 3 wireless processor comes in. It is uh, powered through PoE, right? So if you're already in there, uh, putting in world-class networking. This can connect directly into your PoE-enabled switch to really help you place this processor wherever in the home makes sense for ideal RF coverage. So just pulling that Cat5 or Cat6 wire to wherever you want to place it becomes a whole lot easier now with PoE technology. But if you don't happen to have PoE on the job, you know we have you covered. You know the the primary kit that we sell with this processor uh, includes a PoE injector in the box, so you can just plug that into a power outlet wherever you have one. Again, pull that, that Ethernet cable to where you want to place the processor and you're up and running very quickly. But getting up and running very quickly is, is, you know, goes beyond just wiring the system in, but you know, getting the processor set up on the network. And you know, we, we've learned a lot over the years and how to do that well. And we put some branding behind it now with what we call quick find technology, which is really all the latest and greatest networking technology on the Lutron processor side to make it easy such that when you um, try to add this processor into the client system. It just shows up on the network, nice and easy. Uh, click a button to activate it in the system and it, it just works, right? So that's what QuickVine really provides. And within the processor now, you can control up to 200 devices uh, via Lutron's, you know, what you know well as ultra reliable clear connect RF technology. Um, that includes up to 100 of the legacy, not legacy, but the existing Radio Raw 2 and Raw 2 Select devices. So that's Maestro dimmers, uh, switches, C-touch keypads, 
picos, shades, et cetera, you can have up to 100 of those. And then now an additional 100 uh, Sunata wireless controls, which gets you that full 200 devices. But it was very important that we had a backwards compatibility story here such that the existing customers that have Radio Raw in their homes can now upgrade um, those devices into a Raw 3 system, really just by replacing the processor. So you know, beyond that and what the pro processor provides, we're trying to make this simpler to program really to help you streamline that project. So the programming software now is all built into Lutron's designer software. Uh, this is a piece of software that we're now you know, building out to set up um, multiple types of Lutron systems. So if you happen to be into a Lutron luxury business with our uh, Homeworks product line, it's the exact same piece of software that is also used now to install Radio Raw 3. So you know, one less tool to worry about, it's all in the same tool. Uh, we're starting to push more of the actual commissioning side of it into the app. So app-based activation, so you can walk around with just a phone or a tablet to activate devices into the system instead of having to, you know, carrying around or always going back to that laptop to help set it up. So expect to see a lot more coming in the app in terms of making it simpler, easier, faster on the job site. Um, for those of you familiar with uh, Radio Raw 2 in the past and our C-Touch keypads, well, the days of all of those yellow certificates, which were there for free engraved button kits, those days are gone, right? So no more yellow certificates. You have to worry about sending in with it, which every one of your um, engraving orders, it's all built into this Lutron designer software and trying to make it as easy for you to, you know, put the customization onto the, the keypad in that designer tool and then quickly and easily get it to our customer service team to send back out an engraved button kit for you. Uh, something that I'm really excited about, which I think you will be too, is really the the next level of remote service capability that the system really provides. You know, whether you're using your phone or you're using your, your laptop with the designer tool, you can remotely service all of these projects from anywhere in the world. So instead of having to go on site, connect your laptop up to the network, just to provide something like an edit to a scene or you know, add different devices to buttons, anything that you could do on site commissioning with the Lutron designer tool, pretty much you can do it offsite remotely and transfer all those changes without having to roll a truck to that home. So incredibly important to help you get to more customers and then keep providing that ongoing service you know, after you've installed it on day one. And lastly, to, to tie this all together, you know, beyond lighting control and shading control, of course, integration of what Lutron provides into other systems that you're putting into the home is incredibly important. And we wanted to make that easier for you as well. And that's where Lutron's Leap API um, really starts to save you time um, when you're setting up any of the uh, third-party systems that you work with. And what does that mean? Well, it allows you to create you know, and name the devices in the rooms and the programming for uh, those Lutron devices on the Lutron side. And it automatically gets pulled in to the other control systems that you're using for custom integration. So you're not having to do all this customized mapping behind the scenes, it's just gonna pull in, it's just gonna work, and it really allows you to get going on to the additional customization you're providing with those third-party tools. And that's where, you know, we're, we're excited to say that, you know, RAW 3 is the most integrate, integrated, dedicated lighting control system and shading control brand in its class. You know, we've, we've tried to, you know, work hard to make sure that it integra integrates with kind of like mass brands that the consumers know, right? Just from the advertising that's out there, but more importantly, the, the professional brands that you all use uh, to install systems throughout the home. And so that integration piece is incredibly important. All right, so you know, that's, that's kind of the high level of, of what Radio Raw 3 provides, but kind of taking a step back and looking at what else, what else Lutron offers, I wanted to make sure that you know, where Raw 3 fits in terms of those systems uh, makes sense, right? So, on the left there, starting with Caseta, really that's, Caseta is your, your simple starting point for getting into smart home lighting control. It has all the basic parts and pieces you need uh, to control lights, even to control shades. And it's really the, the quickest way to get started because it's all app-based setup, right? So you're starting at a, a more basic entry price point with simpler setup processes that take you less time. And that makes it a great way to learn if you're not into smart lighting control yet. Um, but once you figure that all out, raw to select is really that next step. Once you have, you know, the right homeowner, the right um, neighborhood that you're selling into where they really want that next level pro grade solution 
you know, what we call a, a high-end lighting control system, which uh, gets you beyond what a homeowner can do on their own and into something that you as the professional can start um, curating to their, their personal needs within their home. Ratu Select still very relevant to this day because it provides that simple app-based setup experience, which is quick, easy, easy to learn, um, but gives you that differentiation on the project. And where Radio Raw 3 comes in is, is really that next level beyond there, which provides even more customization. And it's something that we, you know, we say is for qualified installers because you know, we ask that you go through a qualification training process to make sure that you really understand all the power of the features that are in there and how to deliver it well, such that every homeowner that's experiencing this product is gonna, gonna receive you know, a great high quality um, experience with, with the system that you deliver. And there is a lot that's new within this Raw3 system that we want you to learn. And so you'll see later on here, we've done a lot to make it easier for you to go through that training, really get up to speed and then get access to the tools and start running with Raw3. You know, beyond that, you know, to take it to the, the top, top level of what we provide here at Lutron, that's really where Homeworks comes in, um, where you can provide, you know, the, the most customization out of any system we have with really a luxury focus on providing the most luxurious experience with lights, shades, and control within that home. Hey, Neil, uh, let's pause. Yeah, right. yeah, let's pause for a second. Uh, there's uh, questions that are starting to pop up and they're, Perfect. you know, um, like, as as we have seen, it's it's around some of the rules of the let's call it the rules of the game around raw two and raw three. So maybe we can just pause before we go into some of the more product details and just answer some of these higher level questions. Let's do it. So call them out. Yeah, yeah, I got them here. Um, so. Let's start here at the top. We'll get some of these. So, uh, Garen, Garen, you say you want to answer this live. Will a copy of the recording be emailed out? Uh, I think the answer to that is yes. <laughs> Correct? E yes. The answer to that is yeah. yes. We will send everything out, um, and this will be available. The, the one thing I, I think Gary could chime in on is I think this will also be available on SNAP's training website. So I'm not sure if Gary's still at the phone, but um, that is yeah, it will. Gary will put it out to everybody, both the recording and the content. Perfect. Perfect. And then will you have keypads with more than three or three to four buttons? Uh, that's from, uh, I'll just use first names here. That's from, from Chris. Um, I assume, Chris, you're talking about uh, Sunata keypads. So currently we will have, you know, the, the current iteration of either the three or four button keypad, but, but noted that you, it looks like, you know, we've gotten this, this question slash comment a lot. It looks like you'd like to see more out of that Sonata style. Yep. But if, um, you know, so Sonata provides a two, a three button with raise lower and a four button style. If you want more buttons than that, then yeah, C -touch. go to C touch is still, you know, completely compatible and something that we continue plan to continue into the future with 3D Raw 3. And that can get you up to six buttons with raise lower or even um, seven buttons. Yeah, I want to I want to interject here, and make something very clear to the whole group. Uh, Radio Raw Three now is a brand new processor platform. That's the simple solution here that brings us up to the modern world. And now you have two style choices: Maestro style with C Touch and or Sonata style. Right, and that's where you know you guys have to figure out what right looks like from your client standpoint. And I also comment on three to four buttons because I worked out of our experience there in Irvine for 10 years. And the common theme that came up when I talked to homeowners, everybody says, oh, more buttons is a good thing. But when you talk to the homeowners, what they realize is less is more. So here's what I challenge all of you to do. Figure out how to simplify so that it's more user-friendly from a consumer standpoint, both the homeowners and then what you have to think about is maybe their friends or relatives come and stay with them. Yeah. Figure out how to do less is more. Great point. So, okay, we have a question from Gregory. You know, Garen, you said you wanted to answer that. What we do to upgrade projects that already have over 100 RAW2 components? Yeah, I think I, I see a few upgrade questions in here. We, we do have a slide coming uh, and a few, few slides here that talks about upgrades. So I'll dive into, you know, what upgrades, how do upgrades work, 
What about devices that have uh, over 100 at this point? Um, so why don't we just kind of table that all for one kind of bucket in a few slides if we can. Sure. Uh, well, uh, from Steven, will I be able to use Radio Raw 3 software to take over existing Raw 2 inclusive, uh, uh, Raw 2 inclusive and essential uh, jobs? Yes, yes you will. And that's something that, um, that, that Raw 3 software is, we're trying to make it as easy as possible to do that upgrade. And I'll explain that in a few minutes of how, how that works. Yeah, we actually do have somewhat of an easy button for that upgrade process. Very easy button. And then I think, you know, uh, one from Michael, I think this ties into Neil's like to take this all in one bundle is our migration process for existing Rod 2 installations. I think that we'll hit that. We will, yep. Yeah, here's one, Neil. You know, why 100 Rod 2 and 100 Rod 3 devices instead of 200 of any kind? Good from question. Matt. That's a good yeah, question. Good question. So um, if you're familiar with, Raw 2 today, each main repeater uh, supports up to 100 of the Raw 2 devices. So that's Maestro, C-Touch, Pico, Shades, etc. You know that that is fundamentally how our ClearConnect technology um, around those products works. You know, it's something as you dive into training, you'll see that we've kind of labeled that ClearConnect Type A. Um, so same thing, the architecture there hasn't changed. It's 100 devices per processor when you talk about you know, those products, Maestro, C-Touch, Pico, Shades, et cetera. Sunata um, is uh, adding another 100 devices because it uses the latest generation of our ClearConnect, which you know, we'll learn in the, in the training uh, once you dive in online, which is what we call ClearConnect Type X. And that we're adding another 100 devices there. So all through that one processor, you can get 100 Maestro, C-Touches, Shades, et cetera. And then if you choose the alternate aesthetic you can get 100 of the sunatas so really that's the background of where it, where it comes from and something that you'll learn a whole lot more of once you dive into the, the technical trainings got it another one from chris will the raw two uh main repeater uh be discontinued some jobs need 200 devices to see touch uh where more than i guess three button you need more than three button controllers plus raise lower sonata uh keypads are required Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at this point, we have no plans to formally obsolete Radio Raw 2 because we know that there's these projects that you mentioned that need more than 100 Maestros and or C-Touch. You know, we, when we announced Radio Raw 3, we mentioned that um, there will be a, the capability to add a second processor in the future. We'll have a slide on that here later. And so once we have that, once you have the ability to have two Radio Raw 3 processors in a system, then you could get up to those 200 C touches that you're asking about. And at that point, there's probably not gonna be too much left for why you would even want to consider Radio Raw 2 and Raw 3 is gonna be the, the most likely choice that you'd migrate to. But stay tuned, you know, obviously there's a life cycle to all of our systems, but we wanna make sure we do it at the right time once we've covered all the, the features that you all need to deliver to your customers. All right. Uh... Go ahead, Garen. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. One from Michael. Any plans for wire in modules, i.e. to go behind a wall sconce or ceiling fan canopy modules? Um, yeah, so no no plans right now beyond what we have in, in the product offering today. We have uh, what we call RF modules, which really what's that? That's designed to mount to a four by four junction box to provide either on off switching control uh, we have a zero to 10 volt version of that product as well as a contact closure device. So um, that's close to what you're talking about, um, but probably tough to mount behind a wall sconce more meant to be an electrical uh, in a closet somewhere or perhaps um, mount, mounted in the ceiling. Yeah, we'll take a few. We'll answer a few more questions here and then we'll continue because a lot of these questions that I'm, I'm looking ahead, I think Neil will will hit uh, as we move forward. So uh, one again from Chris. Uh, is a raw two main comp uh, main repeater compatible with raw three programming software? So not yeah the the raw two main repeater will only work with the radio raw two programming software. Um, so you cannot use designer to program radio raw two systems. Um, however, if you wanted to upgrade that radio raw two system, you'd replace that main repeater, yeah. replace it with a new processor. And then you can import that programming and get off and running quickly with Lutron Designer for RAW 3. 
Yeah, so very, very good question there. And, and we'll talk more about that, but we do kind of have an easy way. And Neil just kind of outlined it very broadly. You know, you want to take a raw two system and a raw three, you're going to take out that raw two main repeater, you're going to put in a raw three proc, you're going to extract, you're going to extract the raw two uh, programming file, and you're going to open that in designer. And then it all ports over. Yep. Um, go ahead, Garen, do you want to, uh, do you need from Jeff, do you need to go to Coopersburg for training only? Uh, no, oh, I, don't, um, oh, I don't know if I see Garen, so I'll, I'll answer that. Um, uh, you do not need to go to Coopersburg for training. The, the RAW 3, we've deployed a new system uh, with RAW 3 through our LCI. You just need a, that's our Lutron Lighting Control Institute. So whether you go to www.lutron.com or get to it through our Radio RAW 3 website, you would simply hit the training button. It will take you right to on-demand 24-7 RAW 3 training. So the days of an L1 and L2 and raw essentials and raw inclusive software are over. There's one software package, it's called Designer, and you, and you use it for Radio Raw. Uh, and you take the training modules at your own pace when you want to, and then there's a final exam, you pass that, I think it's from 80, uh, and you will get automatic access. You'll get an auto download of the Designer software with, with Raw 3 enabled, and it's that simple. So you do not need to go anywhere to get Raw 3 qualified, except to your computer and an internet connection. And we'll answer one more and then uh, we'll continue. So from Ryan, uh, does RAW 3 support any Ketra? That's a good question. That's come up a lot. Uh, currently, RAW 3 does not support Ketra. Uh, Ketra only works residentially with our HomeWorks uh, whole home lighting control system. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna continue to move on because I think some of this will become clearer. Uh, as as Neil continues with the with the presentation, but but please keep the questions coming. Very 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 good uh, questions. Hope we're I hope we're giving you a good feedback. Go ahead. Perfect. All right. So let's let's take a look again at some more of the product, um, starting with the Sunata family. So you know, seeing it all here together lined up, clearly this was something you know we designed from the outside in with some you know common DNA. That it really just looks beautiful on the wall together, um, you know. Ganging a, a dimmer, a switch, and a keypad in a three gang looks looks just great. But even just the keypad on the on the wall by itself, a great new experience. And what I mentioned before about colors, you know, that really takes that um, kind of delight your client level, you know, element to the next level. Where we've introduced now a new color palette that goes beyond the four traditional glosses that we have to having now a uh, 20 uh, colors with a satin finish, which the majority of them are new. So you can see we have four whites there, right? White, very on trend right now with interior design. And it really helps you to you know, match that color to what the interior designer has chosen for paint, for backsplashes, for cabinets, et cetera. We've got a lot of great feedback and excitement about these different whites, but also you know the grays, right? With gray, and then we still have some neutral earth tones in there. And some of these colors at the end, you know, like like deep, deep sea, for example, when you see this color in, in person, like it, it just pops, it's amazing. Especially with that light bar, with the capacitive touch on the dimmer, it really just pops on the wall and, and looks great. So we have a lot of good feedback on that color as well. Um, while, I'm, while I'm touching on colors real quick, a, a big question we've had is what about uh, the previous colors that we had with Maestro and C-Touch? So Maestro and C-Touch, um, they are not going to receive this, this new color palette at this time. There are six colors with a satin finish that will carry over. And really that makes up the majority of what customers have been using with the Maestro and C-Touch for those satin finishes. It's, um, it would be Snow, which is a white, Midnight, Biscuit. Uh, we have uh, Palladium, which is a gray, which is actually now the same as our mist color, uh, Taupe. And then of course, um, what we called hot in the past, which is that nice bright signal red color you see on the right there. Those are the mass majority of what's used in Meister and C-Touch. That is what over time we're gonna be whittling it down to. So you'll see some while supplies mass, while supplies last messaging on there. And really shift the focus to these new colors being around the Sonata family. And of course the accessories that go with it, which includes you know wall plates, um, receptacles, there's blank inserts. If you're in a retrofit and wanna cover up an existing uh, opening, uh, as well as our, our Diva family of, of wall box controls. So you really can complete any job 
with the same color palette, all built around Sunata plus the accessories that come with it. So looking at the, the dimmers and switches, you know, the dimmer itself is built on our Pro LED Plus technology. We have the same technology in our Maestro line today for Ready Rod 2, and it's really become the de facto for what uh, we've seen everybody ordering because it's really just one dimmer that you need for any load type that you're gonna find in the house. You know, reverse phase, forward phase, et cetera. Um, this is a, a neutral required device, but it works on existing wiring such that the companions that we have allow you to use standard three-way and four-way wiring to provide that exact same aesthetic anywhere on the circuit. So if you raise the lights on one end of the room, the companion, you would see that light bar raise in unison on the, on the other end up to um, a total of five locations. So that, that, again, is a step up from what we have with Maestro today. And really just, again, wow factor when you see it in person and when your homeowners get it in their home. The light bars, you know, whether it's the dimmer, the switch, the keypad, they're adjustable, right? Because everyone has their own preference of how much ambient light they want coming out of the wall. Um, whether it's in a bright room like a kitchen where you re really wanna see um, what the status of the light is or in a bedroom at bedtime, you know, a lot of folks don't want all that extra light spewing into the space. So you can, you know, have that, that brightness cranked way down or even off if the client chooses uh, for, for those devices in the bedroom. So uh, I'm not gonna speak to um, models specifically, but there they are. Um, price comparably to what we have in the market today with RA2. Um, but of course, talk to your talk to your distributor here through Snap to, to get your, your price through them. Uh, next, the keypads. Um, so the two button, three button with raise lower, four buttons. Um, it, it does what our keypads do, and that's scene control of lights, shades, uh, fan control, and then even more with things like audio and whatever else you would want to do with it through integration. Each button can be customized through the Lutron Designer tool with text or icons. And each keypad that you purchase comes with one free redeemable button kit that all gets redeemed through the Lutron Designer software. If you want more button kits, let's say you help the client with their first round of uh, customized uh, button kits, and then six months to a year later, they want more, it, it, it's easy, just go order more. You know, the list price on that is, is $75. Um, work with, with Snap and you can order those through Lutron's My Projects tool with which our distributors have access to. And last but not least, you know, the processor. This is really what creates, you know, the new, you know, I call it horsepower of the RAW 3 system. You know, we talked about PoE, um, we talked about, um, you know, backwards compatibility, but just to point out like the, the functionality that you have today with a raw two main repeater, plus the connect bridge to that, to get that app functionality, that's all combined in one. And if you think about like this price of what we charged for that before, you were upwards of like 800, $850 for those two pieces. But now everything's all in one with this raw three processor at a price point that starts just under $500 list. So really that helps you you know, get into the home, into the project easier without, you know, the additional burden of a higher priced processor to get started in a single room and then get those clients coming back asking for more to expand throughout those rooms. Um, I talked about remote service anywhere via our cloud with the app or the Lutron designer tools. We talked about quick find technology and of course the Leap API. What I wanna point out about the two kits that are available for the processor, the top one there, the dash kit, that includes everything you need to set up this processor in the home. It includes the processor, the shelf mount, which you see there in the picture. It includes two ethernet cables, uh, as well as the PoE injector. So, you know, one ethernet cable would come from uh, the, the network switch or the router into the PoE injector. And then out of the PoE injector comes uh, the other ethernet cable into that processor. If you have PoE um, already there with your, with your network gear, you obviously don't need that PoE injector, um, but you know it's in the box. If you don't want it in the box and you want to streamline it, you can go down to that dash CW kit, which is a ceiling and wall mount intended kit where it has a different uh, mounting hardware for cleanly mounting it in the ceiling or on a wall and does not include the, the PoE injector because in that case, typically you're running it back to a PoE enabled network switch and putting that uh, processor mounted somewhere centrally located in the home, whether it's the ceiling or wall. All right, so next topic. This is what everybody's, I think, been waiting for based on the questions. What about upgrade from RAW 2 to RAW 3? So 
you know, you heard it from Rhett, you know, we really tried to make this the easy button to upgrade these systems. And the way it works is you start with your raw two system with the main repeater. You take the programming file from your raw two system, whether you already have it because you're the dealer that installed it before, or you're on site, you extract that programming from the raw two main repeater with the radio raw two software tools. You take that file, and then you just open it in the new Lutron Designer tool, and the tool will automatically convert that programming from RAW 2 into RAW 3 and presents you with all of the same programming that carries over. Uh, it would provide a list of what does not carry over. And if you look at the list of the, the pictures on the screen here, there's three pieces of hardware that are currently not uh, supported within Radio RAW 3. Number one is our Graphic T line of controls. Uh, number two is our Wallbox power modules, which is, you know, we have uh, a bank of, you know, up to six dimmers all in one piece of, of hardware. And the third element is uh, what we had before with clear connect enabled temperature controls. Those three things were all, you know, part of that level two inclusive access with Radio Raw 2, which required additional training. That was the instructor led uh, in person, but now remote training that you can do. Frankly, it's more complicated, and we wanted to focus on you know, providing um, simpler, easier, more streamlined solutions, which is why those three are not included. But of course, we're looking at what are alternatives to that for things like the Wallbox Power Module, which really wants to be pro LED plus technology for controlling LEDs, regardless of what load type you have in the field. Um, if you want wireless temperature control, we still sell the Lutron wireless Wi-Fi thermostat which integrates into the system. And really that Sunata look kind of takes over what, what Graphic T was providing with a, you know, a sleek new aesthetic. Um, we had questions before about, you know, what if you were trying to upgrade a job from that had more than 100 devices? My, my advice is just pause on that for, you know, a little bit. We've already announced that two processor support is coming. I don't have a date for you yet because I want to be accurate with when we provide it, but that's something within, you know, we're talking, months, um, not not like six months kind of a thing where you would get that uh, two processor support. So that is coming. Um, alternatively, if they were interested in the Sonata aesthetic over Maestro, you could swap out those Sonatas and probably get that 200 device job down to 100 of the raw two supported devices plus Sonata. Anything else there, Rhett, we're seeing in terms of questions around upgrades that I should hit? Yep, I'm looking. I'm going to comment while you're looking, Rhett. Yeah. Uh, as Neil will tell the group, I've, I've been harping on the whole upgrade opportunity. It's great to see all the questions, guys, because you're right. This is an opportunity to go back to every raw job you've ever done. And I know there are a lot out there. And give those customers a path to upgrade with these new platforms. But I think as, as Neil said, to make it simple, any of your 100 device and below jobs, that'll be a simple putt today. 200 devices, stand by. And then the keypad one, which came up on or directly. Currently, there is no hybrid Sonata keypad. What word did I emphasize currently? Obviously, currently. we've been doing this a little while, so you guys know what's coming. And so I think, you know, you probably once you complete the qualification training, you'll have the information, the answers you need to plan your course for both new projects you have coming up. Plus, hey, how am I going to reach back out to some of my past existing customers and put together a plan for them? So it's great to see everybody thinking that way. Yep. So a couple questions, Neil, maybe not directly related to upgrades, but kind of all related to, you know, our, our pathway with RAW 3. So we've gotten a couple questions. Is there uh, integration of RAW Classic via the Kronos into RAW 3? I think I'll answer that. The answer right now is, is no, I do not foresee integration of RAW 3 into RAW Classic. Uh, that was from Matthew. Um, we're, we had multiple questions on, uh, will RAW 3 be able to be programmed via Mac? Do you know the answer to that one, Neil? So the- or PC um, only. Yeah, great, great question. It is, it is still PC only. We have some app notes out there for how to run it on a Mac. Um, thank you for providing that feedback. We do get it a lot. And that's something where we, we know is an important piece of you know, programmers out there. So. Uh, we'll keep considering what to do there to make it a better experience around Mac. 
uh, from Paul, uh, will, with the new RAW3 processor, will there still be the need for additional repeaters for coverage and how many can be on the system? Right, so. I'm assuming Paul, well, let's make the assumption uh, he's talking about RAW3, Neil. Yeah, so with RAW3, um, it really depends on what devices you put throughout the home. What's nice about the new Sunata line of controls is you do not have to worry about repeaters. So you have the processor, and really just to make sure that it, you know, the new clear connect type X, type X works, you wanna make sure you have uh, two Sunata devices within 25 feet of each other to make sure that that range expands. So you can go up to 75 feet from the processor so long as you meet those two within 25 feet rules. And that, that gets you in a centrally located you know, processor system, that's 10,000 square feet of coverage, right? So that, that 75 foot kind of max distance is, is a lot of range. Um, if you need to go beyond that, beyond that 75 feet, uh, that's really where you know the support of a second processor, which is coming, will help you get you there. On yeah, and it's the also important to note uh, as Neil's going through that. So there's you know some new rules of the road when it comes to because Blake said it earlier, RAW three can be a hybrid system of existing Maestro products and new Sunata products. The existing Maestro products would would for RAW two would would use repeaters. We, we, you can use repeaters to extend the range on those. To Neil's point, for Sunata, you would need another processor. All that's a lot of dense information, right? Don't expect you to remember all that during a, let's call 45 minute to, to hour uh, presentation on what the capabilities of our system are, pricing and so forth. I highly encourage everyone on this call to take the raw three qualification training. That goes, all the modules go in depth into all the, the technical detail uh, that you're that you're going to need to be successful deploying a radio raw three system. And again, that's all you need is an, a, to, an LCI login. It's at your own pace. You can start, stop, uh, and then once you complete the exam, it, the 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 software is auto delivered. And that typical time from beginning to delivering software is anywhere from depending on your expertise and knowledge, anywhere from two two and a half hours to three hours. So it's not a giant time commitment. Like I said, we've tried to make it convenient so you can start and stop uh, and do it at your own pace. And I would add to that, uh, we had a couple of questions in the chat. That is live now. So we've had people going into it and checking and make sure they get into it now. That's live now. You can get the software now. You can start designing systems now. So that's, uh, that's something you guys can hop on right after this. All right, we've answered the raw. There's multiple questions on the raw, uh, raw three proc. So again, we're working on a two processor, processor system to increase the amount of Sunata devices that can be on a raw three system and to increase range. Uh, here's one from Matt. Will there be raw three control system drivers available on day one? Yes. So we are, if you're talking about some of the brands that I showed on that. Yeah, I'm assuming that means through partner integration. Yeah, right. So we are working with all the brands on there, you know, Control 4 being one of them that, you know, we're working to have those drivers live and uh, really make them work uh, nice and quick and streamlined. So yes, that is all in process. And I've even heard of some, um, depending on the brand, some, you know, alpha and beta testing starting on them. Um, will matte colors from Ray, will matte colors be available? I think maybe referring, Ray may be referring to the architectural mat. Right, yeah, so in Sunata, um, it's our gloss and our satin finish that we have. Uh, the architectural mat is not something that is part of uh, the Sunata experience. That's more for what we call our architectural controls, which are at a homeworks level for things like palladium, for example, which is for us an architectural design style that has those matte colors. Uh, only the satin and the gloss is what you'll find in Sunata. Yeah, and, and here's a good one, Neil, from Michael. Uh, is the button text, I'm assuming on the Sunata keypad, so the engraving, is the button text not backlit on these? Uh, that's very, very good feedback, Michael. Currently, the, the, the engraving text is not backlit. Yep. Okay, but, but good feedback. We've been, we've been, we've been getting uh, that question and that feedback a lot. Yep, but it's, you know, it's the design choice around that light bar, you know, very nice and, and bright. And the ability to tune that brightness of the, the light bar is something that, you know, really makes that Sunata design aesthetic and match 
across across the family. Here's another good question from Eric. Are buttons, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the assumption here, button kits interchangeable in the field like C-Touch? And I'm gonna make the assumption that you mean if you would want to order a gloss white and then switch it out with one of our new sound finishes. Correct. The answer, yeah, so, go ahead, Neil. No, yeah, so the, yes, the keypad, you can swap out those button kits just like you could um, in C-Touch. That allows you to change between different colors or change between different button configurations, the two, the three, or the four buttons. The dimmer and the switch, however, just want to point out there that those you cannot change the color in the field because you know they have that capacitive touch behind the button. There's a lot of electronics there that just, you know, frankly, we couldn't allow uh, that to be popped off and popped back in based on the technology it provides. So you need to pick the color up front for the dimmer and switch, but for the keypads, you can reconfigure that colors and type on the fly once it's already installed. Is there from Matthew? Is there still an A and B frequency when doing jobs in New York and Rock Classic? We had to use B. There's mm -hmm. that's near and dear to my heart, Matthew. I've been around long enough uh, to remember the different frequencies that we needed in New York. Yes, yeah. So A and B, um, the the need for A versus B specifically ended when we had went from Rock Classic to Raw Two. Just like Raw Two, this system will be able to change um, frequency as needed, both on the, the type X and the type A platform. Um, right now, um, and this is one of the reasons why two processor support is still coming. Uh, it, it works on the standard frequency that we use, the same frequency for raw to select, um, the same frequency as Caseta. That's how it works out of the gate. And then once we have two processor support, we'll, we're gonna open up a whole list of other frequencies if you really need it. But unlike the days of raw classic and A versus B frequency, it, it works differently today. And for the most part, you don't need to do that. And one more, and then let's finish this out, and then we'll finish the the, the rest of the questions, Neil, if that's okay. And yep. I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly here, Aliyev, Aliyev. Uh, sorry, it looks like you you put this question in twice. I missed it at the very top of the of the questions there, Aliyev, so I apologize. Will RAW 3 keypads run on 48 volt DC? Um, RAW 3. Right. The the answer is no. Sunata keypads will not run on 48 volt DC. We have uh, that has worked in the past for our Ready Raw 2 C Touch keypads, the wire, yeah. wireless C Touch keypads. That will continue to work, um, but the the new Sunata keypad, just with all the you know the the LEDs and light bars on there, need need more current to run, and so the 48 volt compatibility uh, does not work on Sunata. So if you have that upgrade job where you wanted to do that, that's where the C Touch would still be your go to. All right, so let's pause on the questions. We'll finish our presentation. Neil and I and Garen can certainly, and Blake can certainly stay on to finish questions, but I'll make sure that we're being respectful of everyone's time and, and making sure that we at least end the presentation by one o'clock. So uh, sure. one o'clock Eastern. So go ahead, Neil. Yeah, and I think all these questions are great because it kind of just um, got to a lot of the topics that we really had left to cover. Um, so real quick, just a reminder, there's two pieces of software you need to be familiar with. One is the Lutron Designer software which is the PC-based tool you'll get access to right after you take the online training through Lutron. You know, that's where programming, keypad customization, remote service is all capable there. Um, and then there's the Lutron app. This is the same app now that's used between Caseta, RATU Select, Ready Raw 3, and Homeworks. So that, that is gonna be your go-to for, you know, activating the system, walking around the home, um, and then providing homeowner, the homeowner access to that app as well. Remote service also gets kicked off through the Lutron app. So for example, the homeowner can say, hey, I, I really want you to come back out um, and, and service something for me. Well, you can say, hey, could you please you know, you know, give me access through, through the app um, so that I can do that remotely? That's all where that starts. Um, and then you can also have them you know, give you access for basically eternity. Like I think it's you know, the max is like seven years plus where you could then build some remote service business around them being there kind of for life. Uh, installer. So both the Lutron designer software and the Lutron app work in tandem to help you provide that remote service capability. All right, um, last product slide. I think everybody asks these questions. If you haven't seen this yet, we have been upfront with three things that are coming soon. Uh, we're having an outdoor rated plug and switch that's going to be available just in time for spring projects, you know, outdoor spring landscaping jobs, um, outdoor entertaining, getting going in the spring. Uh, this product will be available. It's coming soon, you know, coming in, in the spring. 
Uh, more, more date specifics, pricing and specs to come uh, soon. You should be very familiar with what this is if, if you're into Caseta at all today. All the same ratings that pretty much make it bulletproof from putting uh, into an outside application. Uh, I saw a question in the chat, like which wireless does this use? This uses um, and is built on our traditional Clear Connect Type A, um, which would work just like, um, you know, let's say a Maestro would today. The, the Sonata hybrid keypad is something that we are actively working on. It's in development right now. We know this is um, a big piece to that keypad puzzle when you have a retrofit application and want to replace a switch with a dimmer and a keypad behind it. That is coming soon. No dates at the moment, but that again is something we're working as quickly as possible to deliver to you. And once we're 100% confident in that date, we will certainly get that out to all of our customers in the field, as well as timing for when two processor systems come. That's very important for those upgrade solutions and for folks that are going continue, to continue to want Maestro and C-Touch uh, beyond 100 devices in those projects. Neil, I want to address a couple of questions too. We're kind of wrapping up and, and yep. we'll work with Gary to figure out how we type the answers into all the questions and he gets that out. But let's talk about availability because that's important. Here's what I'll tell you. The SNAP distributors, Volutone, MRI, Olnet, Custom Plus, they were the first distributors to place orders. They placed the orders the second day after we launched this product. So they will be having inventory. We're going to start shipping. 17th of January. So my guess is on the 18th or the following Monday, every one of your SNAP distributors will have inventory on Radio Rot 3 in stock. Why is that important? Uh, because I've already talked to several dealers who have already pre-sold jobs, right? Here's what I'd ask you on this call. Think about your project you have coming up next year where you want to get these sold. Give your SNAP branch as much advanced visibility as possible to that, because what I'm talking about is, hey, maybe we need to bring in some more stuff because we're already pre-selling a lot. And that leads me into Charlie's question, is Lutron affected by the ship shortage? chip shortage? You guys can probably all answer that question. Yeah, we are, just like everybody else. I wish we were immune, but you know, that's, that's like hoping Shangri-La exists. But the more advanced visibility we can give our manufacturing ops team, the better position we're all going to be in. So again, do as much as you can to give your branches advanced visibility on what you have coming up. Yep. Yeah, and to add to that, Blake, you know, our manufacturing lines, our they are running, right? And you know, we we wanted to take orders now so we get better visibility to everything we need to have available, such that when we hit you know, January, uh, middle of January next year, it is all going to be shipping on standard lead times, but getting your orders in now gives, you know, the SNAP team visibility into what they need in the branch to help you fulfill your jobs and gives us the advanced ability, advance notice on how much we need to keep getting out to um, all the SNAP branches, you know, out of the gate. So yeah, we're all, all systems full speed ahead right now and all on time for a launch in mid, mid January. Um, I know we're wrapping up here. Uh, two things, go check out the website, please. Um, if you're familiar with Lutron websites, this is gonna look like something you've never seen before, right? With a lot of deep content, we tried to put all the information you need right there on the website. Um, you know, I, there was a little video that was gonna play here in the background to show you how it works. But again, this is a, a phenomenal new resource for you to really check it out. But then also there's some links there to send on to your homeowners for them to check it out and experience just for homeowners. So please take a look. Um, what you'll see on this website is links directly to our brand new training website, which is here, right? It's built from the ground up, all new, very streamlined, very quick, modularized. You can do it on your own time. And what's great about it is once you've completed that training, you get instant access. You do not need to reach out to our customer service team. Make sure that you use the same email address to take the training as you would use to log into the software and everything will just work as soon as you complete that exam. Again, lots of great content. Even if you're very familiar with RAW 2, you're going to learn a lot with what's in this, this RAW 3 training as a refresher or all the new great things that are in there for you. And really, that's kind of gets us to a, a summary here of, of these resources. If you hit the website, you're going to find um, links off to everything you need, including training, including that homeowner website, uh, a brand new support site, which again, goes above and beyond uh, what we have on the website, all the sheets, the spec sheets, install guides, you name it. You know, the things that, you know, someone might call our 24-7 tech support team for, 
we tried to put it right there for you so you can get it even faster and easier than calling our team. But of course, our team is there ready to take calls 24 seven on all of this content. Neil, that's that a great anything? job. Yeah. No, I just want to say that's a great job. I want to, uh, again, thank Gary, the whole, the entire Snap team, and certainly all of Snap's customers uh, that, 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 that get, were generous enough to give us some of their time today uh, to, talk about, to talk about Radio R3. So Gary, I'll certainly turn it back over to you. We're available to stay on if you'd like us to answer any more questions. We still have some in the queue, or we can play it however you would like to do that. But Gary, thank you for the time today also. Yeah, no, from the start, you know, as soon as we announced it and Blake, thank you guys and, and thank you for thinking of us in the sense and utilizing, you know, this vehicle that we do every uh, this this webinar series that we've got that gives us a uh, an active audience for for this display actually but um, no let's keep on the questions guys let's keep this thing rolling let's get through the questions we don't have a hard stop let's keep it rolling yep. everybody if you need to bail out. By all means, I will. Like I said, I got the uh, recording. That'll all be in your inbox for you guys to share to your team. And remember, before you bail out, we're back on at two o'clock uh, West Coast today. That's what four four hours from now, guys. Get some work done, and you're going to come back in four hours with me, and we're going to do this thing again. But let's keep rolling the questions. I'll keep it live, and I'll turn it back over to you guys. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. So we've got about you know Neil and I have about ten or fifteen more minutes that we can that we can dedicate to to questions here. So it looks like we've got about fifteen. So. Maybe we can just kind of rapid fire through these, Neil. Uh, do dimmers uh, from Matt, do dimmers and switches use screw down terminals or lead wires? They are screw terminals. The keypads are lead wire. So just like in Ratu today. Yep. Uh, will there be any from Gregory? Will there be any double click, press and hold, and other functions with the dimmers and keypads as with Ratu and or Homeworks? Yes. So. For example, you know, if you if you press once on the dimmer, you know, that can take it to the last level. You can press again or double tap any time to send it to full. So we tried to provide similar experience used to with uh, Maestro, but also there, you know, that you can customize that within the software. Do you want to expose those things or not? Even things like, you know, press and hold for a delayed fade to off. That those, those standard features are all there. Um looks like Jose, it just says DMX lighting. So um, I guess that means will Radio Raw, will the Radio Raw 3 system talk to DMX fixtures? Right, yeah, so DMX, whether it's an input or output is not something that um, we support in Radio Raw. That's what gets into more of like a, a homeworks level solution where we start to have some, some more dedicated pieces like that. Matthew, is the Radio Raw 3 system overseas connected? Great question, but not yet, not at this time. That's something that you know we and the, the SNAP team will be talking about to see what makes sense to do there. And um, you know, this might be something for either if Blake's still on or maybe Gary uh, from Mustafa. I'm joining through the C4 portal. Purchasing will be available to C4 dealers also, GCC dealer. Oh, Radio Raw 3 is purchased through your locals, not through the Snap Snap 1 e-commerce portal today. Okay. It would need, a, obviously, an account with Volutone, MRI, Custom Plus, et cetera. Um, get with me on the side, guys, if that's not, um, if you don't have that already, and we'll make sure that you're you're hooked up. But I'm glad we covered some of the uh, the uh, instructions for our local uh, partners to go to Lutron. And that's a really important step, guys, because um, I want them to be able to purchase that. Remember, it's not available to you to, unless you make those steps. So I want to be able to be ready when that product arrives and uh, hook everybody up. Yeah. So work work back through your local, you know, SNAP, uh, local brick and mortar distribution uh, for that raw three purchase. Uh, will Homeworks QSX process from Kevin connect to the raw three processor at this time as would to the older connect a repeater prior? Um, yeah. So go yeah, ahead. The, yeah, the quick answer there is no, a, a Homeworks processor will not connect to a RAW 3 processor. Um, what Homeworks has is, you know, what we call in there a hybrid repeater, which is the ClearConnect A hybrid repeater, which is a way to get um, ClearConnect Type A into a Homeworks system. It looks just like an old RAW 2 main repeater, but works a little bit different. So, you know, again, in this case, you wouldn't be mixing Ready RAW 3 and Homeworks in the same project. Are the Lutron branded from Matt, are the Lutron branded Honeywell T stats compatible? The, the Lutron Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat that we have, it's the wireless yeah. thermostat is compatible. The, what used to be called the, the Touch Pro thermostat, which had clear connect inside, 
that is not compatible. Um, and actually, you know, we are no longer selling that. That's something that is now end of life. That, that was the very um, next question from Shay, the compatibility of the touch pro wireless thermostat. So Shay, there it is. It is not. not that's right. That's correct. Recess from Jose, is there a recess mount for the processor available? Yes, there is. Yeah, so um, you can either purchase the processor with the ceiling and wall mount kit, which includes a recess kit. flush mount or um, a junction box mount. Or if you happen to buy the other kit, which has the shelf mount in it, you can still buy the recess mount a la carte as a separate item. Will the Lutron linear lighting option uh, be available to RAW 3? I think I don't know, that may be referring to like the, the Ketra. Uh, yeah, I think that's the Ketra uh, light, light, bar slim. light bar slim. And so the answer is, is no. Um, Radio RAW 3 is not compatible with Ketra. Ketra is only compatible with our homework system on the residential side. Right. We do, we do through Lutron's um, Ivalo line of fixtures have um some some linear linear lighting that would just be traditional uh led driver type technology built in there that you would control with a regular dimmer but that's not that's not ketra and it's not not wireless so activation question here neil from bruce can you not activate uh raw three devices through the designer software do we need to bring two devices to every job a laptop and an ipad or iphone so through um through the laptop you uh, would still activate any of your RAW 2 devices. So Maestro, C-Touch, Pico, Sensor, that all goes through the laptop. It's really only for the Sunatas that you would need an additional device. And the reason for that is it, it uses your phone um, to communicate with the device direct to the phone um, or direct from the phone to the device during that activation. So um, that's why you have to switch to the phone. But we've done it in a way such that um, you, you would be not have to do anything special. You would really just you know, connect your phone to that system that's already going to be linked through the cloud or just by pressing a button on that processor. It links it up and the processor tells the phone, hey, go find these devices in the house, press some buttons so that I can know that they're there and, and sync it back with me. So um, yes, it requires two devices, but I think you'll find it a pretty quick and streamlined process. Uh, Chris, uh... I guess you're saying use the Lutron app instead of the Lutron Connect app. Are there any upgrades to the Lutron app UI which was kind of limited? Um, yes, I mean the the Lutron app is now the app platform that we're upgrading across the board. So we're trying to kind of harmonize a lot of the the aesthetic experiences across our system so that we can keep making them nicer. So you'll start to see. Um, more edit functionality available in the app, for example, um, more like help information, more like for things like, uh, for example, integrating like a ring doorbell, for example, um, that's something that um, we have a nice onboarding experience in there that, you know, you wouldn't have had before in the Connect app, but now provides a nicer experience in the Lutron app. So, so yes, long story short, you know, this is where all the new innovation and nicer look and feel is going to come within the app on that Lutron app versus Connect, which um, will not be having as many updates. Yeah. How about conditions? I assume that's conditional logic from Antonio. How about conditional logic on RAW 3? Uh, conditions and conditional logic is something that has remained for our homework system. But what we're trying to do is, you know, understand what are those conditions that are more popular, right, and more common. And so instead of having to write custom logic, do it in a way that you can say, yes, I want to just enable this. Like so things that are uh, coming soon will be things like, you know, when do you want occup occupancy sensors to work? You know, do you want them to work all the time or only during the day or, you know, vacancy only at night? So you could write conditional logic around that, you know, in homework today, but we, we're trying to make it easier. So we say yes and just configure that experience instead of having to, to write some custom code for it. Yeah. Uh, will training be from John? Will training be available to consumers? So yes, I mean, yes, it is. Um, we don't we don't do anything to prevent who takes training. You have to have a MyLutron uh, account to take the training, but we don't restrict who can do that. Um, but you yes. know, if, if the consumer does not have access to buying the product, that would be you know where where they could get stuck. 
Yeah, we, you know, obviously we don't Top sell Radio Raw 3 direct to consumers. Mm -hmm. um, one, two, we're not, tar and I'll just kind of expand on this because this, this question has come up quite a bit. We're certainly not targeting end consumers for training. We're doing this with our professional channels, our distributors and their installers. Is it possible that the extremely tech savvy homeowner on once in a blue moon can, will, will take training through our system? Yes. That is possible, certainly not our focus, uh, but the possibility does exist. And, and I'm, I'll address that and make that real because I've been dealing with this for some time. I've been involved with Ross since 96, 97. There is a very large group of early tech adopters out there that are never going to hire you because they don't need you. Right? And you know who they are, the doctors, the lawyers, the Microsoft employees, the Amazon, Google employees that are perfectly capable of this. Uh, the last level two in-person training we hosted at the Experience Center in Irvine, uh, we had a guy drive down every day from Beverly Hills and his Aston Martin to attend the training. And uh, Good for him. Again, there's, these are the folks that aren't going to hire you. So what I would focus on is that's where it gets back to really understanding your customer and, and what their capabilities are and what your value proposition is for. That's a small universe of folks out there. So, Very good. Final, final handful of questions here uh, from Matt. Are there any other raw two products end of life? I can't ever find a plug-in lamp dimmer. Uh, you know, to echo Neil earlier, uh, we are not um, obsoleting or stepping away from, from the raw two family of products. Uh, it's still a very viable line, and there's clearly going to be a need, at least in the near to midterm, uh, as we look at upgrades, um, to make sure that we're very committed to the to the Radio Rod 2 line. Now, uh, having problem with, with individual dimmers and so forth, yet, yeah, I mean, there's certainly, we've been affected just like everyone uh, with the global shortage of microprocessors. So Neil has been in a delicate balancing act of, you know, making sure we have parts available for our, you know, raw two line of products while simultaneously working with our distributors to make sure that we've got visibility on the stock they need so we can build raw three. And as Neil said, we have, we are and have been building raw three. So it's not vaporware. We're not just throwing, you know, January 17th out there on a whim. We are absolutely planning to make sure we ship product on January 17th. Good question. All right, final two. Uh, any is from Eric, any issues with upgrading to Windows 11 with, I'm gonna assume RAW 2 or RAW 3 software? Uh, good question. That's, I think the only question here that I don't know if I have a definite answer for. Um, but we can we can try to take that offline if you want to get that into us somehow. Um, I'm not aware of any issues right now with with I've never 11, heard of any either. and I'm sure our teams are looking at it. Um, nor do, nor am I aware of a new version on its way out right now to address anything with 10 to 11. So, uh, great question. If you want to reach out to us, happy to answer that offline too. And final question from Chris: uh, Will keypad button labels be editable uh, by the customer? Good question. So out of the gate, um, we're working to make sure there is a, like we have in RAW2 today, a what we call a homeowner keypad, something that they can edit within their app to have different um, names and labels for whatever they want. So that will be supported uh, day one. Uh, in terms of editing button labels, you know, that's something that uh, we have heard feedback on. You know, the, the label, uh, right now is tied to whatever is physically printed onto the, the buttons uh, on the wall, right? So changing that without having you involved can result in some confusion if it's not done right. So that's something we're still working on. How would we do that? We've heard that feedback, trying to understand what is what really is being asked for and how to deliver that tweakability such that it doesn't cause a confusion with what's on the wall. So stay tuned, more coming on that. All right, uh, that, that's the end of our questions. Uh, again, I wanna thank uh, Gary, the SNAP team, and, it, and all of you that, again, were generous enough with your time to join us today. Deep thanks, we're very, very excited to work with you, uh, the installers and SNAP to make Radio Raw 3 uh, a resounding 
hit and success with you and your customers. So thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, Gary. guys, thanks. Thanks for the OT performance there, guys. And again, this is just you had another, uh, you know, all-star unveiling, if you will, from uh, the Snap One uh, local team. Guys, thank you guys very much. I will see you back here in three hours and 45 minutes. Go get some work done for the rest of our partners. Thank you guys so much. Look in your inbox for a full recap of this training. We're back here a little bit later on this afternoon. And remember, guys, be safe out there. We know it's busy. But we thank you so, so much. Have a great Thanksgiving with your family next week. From all of us at uh, Volutone, MRI, Custom Plus, and uh, did I forget one? All net. There you go, guys. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Thank I'm you. Tall Wally. Thank you all. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tattling. <laughs> I'm recording it. He'll see it. There you go. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Take care. Thank you, guys.